You're watching Finding Omaha. I'm Reed Kilmer. Today, you're going to meet Rosemary. We met Rosemary when she was watching her godchildren play at the park. Meet Rosemary. My name is Rosemary Holman. I was born in Chicago, but I've lived in Omaha most of my life. And I'm 78 years old now and uh, enjoying life more than ever. Well, I went to Holy Name School, most of grade school and high school, and I went to Duchenne College and graduated with a degree in English. And much later on, I took a master's degree in uh, church ministry at Loyola University of New Orleans. And so my main interest in life is working with children. And I have done it many, many different ways. Um, my biggest, longest activity has been with the Red Cross. I've been a Red Cross volunteer over 50 years. And at one time I was overseas with them in Korea. And so now I'm retired, but I still work with you. I work with children at Madonna School and uh, still work for Red Cross and still help out at church and do ordinary things. My husband and I are both retired and uh, I like to travel. He likes to stay home, so we stay home. <laughs> yes, I have a bucket list. It's just that I can't afford it. My bucket list includes going to visit the major art museums of the world and the cathedrals and visiting the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is supposed to be the most beautiful building in the world and I want to see it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of regrets. I regret things that I should have done that I didn't do, okay? And I think if I had to do it all over again, I couldn't do it because I I could take the ups in life, but I couldn't take the downturns in life. They're too rough, too hard on you. I would like to be remembered as a, uh, a friendly person who was community-minded, because I, I like to be involved with people. And uh, I enjoy working with uh, whatever groups are available, like the Neighborhood Association, and, things of that kind. Okay, living in Omaha has been probably one of the best things that happened to me because Omaha has always been family oriented and we've had more churches in Omaha than I can count. So you know people have in mind their spiritual life as well as their workday life. So um, it's a very friendly town and the thing that worries me is that it's growing too big. I liked it when it was in the 50s and you knew where the borders were and the traffic wasn't too heavy and you could actually cross the street without worrying about getting hit. Um, so as the community gets bigger, I remember the old Omaha.